now assume you want to put some restrictions on the usage of this class so assume you want to restrict the usage of this class to class only classes only like uh, you want this class to be used with the reference types only and you don't want it to be used with the primitive data type so you can add a constraint like this what happens so if we go down so it is showing errors here and here the reason being is this int and decimal long these kind of primitive data types are struct like you see here it is struct but here we impose the rule stating this class only supports a reference variable so it is giving error so here if i make this as struct then this is giving error because we are telling the compiler that this class only support the structs now we are passing the reference type so that's the reason it is giving error and you can mention another kind of type right enum so now it is showing error everywhere so but if we create a enum something like this public enum stated code now if you see this code is not having any error the reason being is here we mentioned that this utility should support enum type and here we are passing enum and here we have created a enum with started and in progress as values so here you need to see a catch like if I make this as struct, this will work for both enums and primitive data types. So this is all about the constraints, but there are few more constraints that we need to discuss. I'm cleaning up this code and also i mean i'm removing this code so now assume and also i'm removing this code also so that it will look more cleaner if you want to impose a rule that the type must implement an interface you can do that too uh, like i'm writing an interface here and I'm implementing this on this class So if I want to impose a rule stating the type must implement this, then I can do like this. And here, I'm writing code something like this. And in the same way that we have written before, Uh, we don't know the type with which it will work so that's the reason it is showing error we need to do the default so if that is if this is a primitive type it will 
uh, or if it is a value type, it will return the default of t. If it is a primitive, if it is a reference type, it will return null here. So now here I am creating a constructor utility, and here I am expecting an object. I'm accepting that over here and I'm writing a method so if you see here we got me how we are getting this this i person that we have mentioned over here is mapped to this p and from that we are getting this name so now i am creating a person object And I'm using the utility class. And we need to pass object to the constructor. And here I am writing person utility dot print name. If I run this code, it will print. So this code is not working. The reason is here we made a mistake. Uh, it should be underscore object. I'm sorry. Uh, why I am choosing this as underscore object is generally the global variables we use underscore in front of that uh, that's a naming convention so now if i run this code that should work so we got the result now assume somebody some other developer is creating a employee class and he want to use your class Yeah, I'll write something. Decimal salary get set. So assume somebody is creating something like this. now some other developer have written the employee class and he want to use the utility class that you have written but if you see here this is giving an error the reason is it says this class did not implement i person interface because we have put a restriction over here so if this class implements i person interface now there is no error assume if somebody if, i mean you are working on a requirement like if somebody passes this value as null then you need to initialize that object inside this method and return it so how you will do that if underscore obj equal to equal to null you want to initialize this object this will not work the reason being is 
if you want to use this kind of thing like if you want to initialize the type inside your generic class you must use one more constraint that is new what this state e it says the new must be the last so what it says is the type that that is going that is going to use this utility class must have a default constructor so inside our person class we haven't mentioned any constructor so there will be a default constructor if i write a parameterized constructor so this will remove the default constructor the compiler will not add the default constructor here assume i have written parameterized constructor and see it is showing error here so using the new keyword you can add a restriction that the class that is going to use this utility class must implement must have a default constructor so you can make the generic class to work with different types and parameters like you can add as many number of types that you want to use but again you have to add them here so i'm sorry this should be a different thing that's all about the generics Thank you.